Hey guys, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome back. Today's discussion is for anyone and everyone who wants to get a 99 percentile plus in QA in CAD 2022. My name is Sudanshu, graduated in finance and marketing from IIM Lucknow. And today, quants ki hum baat karne wale hain. To shuru karte hain. Let's divide the discussion into two parts. First part will be your preparation and revision for the last 2025 days. And next part, which is the very important part is what should be your approach in the exam? What should be your approach in the sectionals and the mocks that you're going to take in the next 2025 days that will help you get a 99 plus in quotes. So first of all, let's talk about revision. Revision, ke andar, jo most important aspect of your quotes is arithmetic, algebra, geometry, which will constitute 80% of your paper. So the most important and the most important emphasis dena hai wahan pe sabse zyada effort dalne hai aag algebra arithmetic geometry anu ji bolte rehte hain aag laga di aag laga di that's exactly algebra arithmetic and geometry that's the most important thing some of the key uh, points or some of the key topics would include time and work time speed distance mixture allegations quadratic equations then logarithms and obviously uh, in terms of geometry triangles and circles will be the most important aspect Coming to the next part, which is the more important part for today's discussion, is the approach. So what approach should I take? Let's say I've done the preparation all right. So then, what should be my approach to get a 99 percentile plus? Let me give you a fact. I got 99.7 approximately in CAT 15 and subsequently I got 99.8, 99.9 also multiple times. One thing that I can tell you is 100 percentile is something which requires a certain amount of luck also but 99 percentile plus is something which is hard work preparation and approach so let's let me talk about one very important approach that has worked for me and for many students that i have trained in the past is called the sprint approach the sprint approach is nothing and is, is a very simple approach based on three key premise first premise is leave behind the ego part okay if you can't solve something in one go then don't take it on ego, I have done arithmetic, I can't leave the question at all. So that's the first thing. Second, very, very important is the 30 second rule. If you, what you have to do is you have to do a sprint through the paper. If you can't solve a question in 30 seconds, basis your thought process, then leave the question behind and come back to the question later. And finally, the third thing, the entire premise or the entire objective of the sprint approach is to make sure that you have seen all the questions in the paper. A lot of people come back to me telling that, sir, I was not able to see all the questions. That's well, very, very unfortunate. And I'll say it's sad because it's not the right approach. If you've not seen the entire paper, then your approach is not a good approach. Talking about, let's say in the first in the first sprint, you have covered, let's say, out of 24, let's say 12 questions you have covered, which is like 50% of the paper you've done. And let's say, if you take an average one minute also for every question in the turnaround time, and you have, you are, you know, uh, leaving some questions behind as well, then the amount of time taken, let's say, is approximately 12 to 15 minutes. Then also, you have 25 minutes left for the remaining 12 questions. And what should you do in the round two? Once you've done the sprint in round two, in round one, in round two, very, very simply approach those questions that you have solved in the past or similar questions you've solved in the past. Let's say a question hai, jo mujhe malum hai ke time taking hai, but similar question mein kiya hua hai. To round two mein, ek baar mein sprint mein bara question nipta diye. Second part mein, mein un questions ke piece jaunga, jaise questions mein pehle solve kiya hai. Because in sprint, I have seen all questions in the sprint. I know exactly which questions are remaining 12 questions. I know exactly which questions are remaining 12 questions. If I put 6 or 8 questions in the remaining 6 or 8 questions, then I am very well a 99 percentile. I hope this helps. Try this approach out in the next 2 to 3 quant mocks or sectionals. If you have any queries or comments, drop it in the chat box and I'll be happy to help you on any topic that you want me to make a video on. Wish you all the very best. God bless you all and keep preparing hard. Don't give up. Stay motivated. God bless you all. Bye-bye.